your hand. I didn't mean that first one, uh, pop up, but uh, this one is about taxes. And um, let me get my disclaimers out. Um, cause I just want to relax some tax, tax and relax. I don't know if you're new to my channel. Um, I let it be known what it, what it really is over here. And, um, I completely screwed this time up because, um, I'm a day ahead. I wanted this to be for Tuesday tax Tuesday. So I probably won't get any, um, people show up in the chat tonight, but, um, I am going to get this done because I'm tired of waiting to get around to it. So, you newcomers, you, be, you know that it's some videos I do just because I'm trying to get around to it. Um, so people are going to say, well, dang. It says the 24th. Yeah, I didn't notice that when I... Uh, at the time that I meant to be today, today, Tuesday, Tax Tuesday. So if there's only one person in the chat, that's good and fine with me because I really don't want to get distracted. I want to stay focused and um, help empower some people along the way as far as it goes with taxes. So um, let's begin with my disclaimers. One day I'm gonna sit down and do these things over. I'm gonna be flipping through pages. Let's be ready with y'all. Um, I had one person in the bush, but it's okay if you dip. Um, if this don't really this this don't apply, let it fly. Um, all right with me. Okay, if you're a mess, a hot mess, you, as in you love messiness, as in cyber harassment, this video ain't for you. This is definitely an educational video. And I really, really took some time to get the research and dig up stuff for you and made it convenient to you where you could just click right down on the bottom of the link. I mean, right down in the description and be able to get the information you need. All right. If you allergic. Gaining knowledge, critical thinking, growing fools, and well, this ain't going to be nothing about that. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it cute. I uh, shouldn't have to use no expertise, but if I so happen to slip and let one or two out, maybe don't get along. Please don't miss the message because this message in this video is about taxes. I want, I want to establish and affirm once and for all you don't know american citizen most 99 percent of american citizens do not owe income tax last but not least i'm legal this is the uh one five certified car carrier member of the campus club i may or may not self-medicate but I just want to put that disclaimer in there because you got a problem with that. You go ahead and dip, dip and dip and dip. But you know what? The most important thing on this video is to get the information out. I don't care if it's not all that entertaining, that I ain't got the laughs and chuckles for you, and that, you know, that uh, it's not an uh, entertainment uh, video. Um, things can't always be entertaining. I hate the camera be opposite like that, okay? Because you be pulling up one side and it really is the other side that's hanging because the camera got in reverse. Anyway, 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 back to the matter at hand. Okay. Why is so dismal? The fuse okay. 
All right, so I hope if anybody come into this chat, you're aware that it is for the point and purpose Um, the point and purpose is tax. This thing is a tax one. I hope people who do bother to watch it, please share this one. This is one I really do hope. Somebody takes the time and share. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I just recently did my taxes. I just recently helped other people, other loved ones do theirs too as well. And um, and I, you know, every year I find out. Something new. Oh, oh, excuse me, y'all. Something new that amazes me. And the most amazing thing is that Americans still take the time to tear their hair out and file taxes. So let me just explain to you why I'm filing on this day. Well, I am exempt. All Americans, just about all Americans, are exempt. It's only a few exceptions to where. Uh, you wouldn't be, as an individual, exempt from income tax. I've been telling this story for 20 years. And for 20 years, I've had friends, family, and loved ones still ignore what I tell them, don't take heed, and still continue to mindlessly go through the motion of filing income tax. So I want you to pay attention to the click the links that I put in the description, which um, I'm going to try to share using this uh, stream yard. I'm going to try to share those websites. And let me just start with um, the Freedom uh, Give Me Liberty, the USA ad. Let me see. Okay. All right, so I'm not sure what the exact date was, but it was somewhere in the 1990s where someone, it's 1990s or 2000, something like that, where the USA Today had a full page ad. Okay, I'm not going to share you, share that screen. Let me share it. Yeah, they said screen sharing is easiest with two monitors. So if I share my screen. I won't be able to see myself, but I am going to explain what you are seeing on the screen. Um, Okay, anyway, this is the text, the text that was um, in the full page ad, although it's extra comments, it's at the bottom. Basically, someone had took out a full page ad challenging anybody who could find the actual tax law where Americans are obligated to pay income tax. They could win $150,000. Well, it was at least one IRS agent who said, wow, that money, that's some good money. I'd like to get it. So let me go ahead and knock two birds out with one stone. I'd be able to educate people, and I'll take this little money and go ahead and retire. Turns out that IRS agent discovered that, in fact, there was no tax law, and certainly them working as a high-ranking official in the IRS had the ability to research and research the law, research tax code, research the Constitution, and they came to the conclusion that it wasn't no income tax law to be found. So people who kill me, they kill me when they say, oh, you know, I'm scared. I'm supposed to pay taxes. Uh, you know, I believe in it. Do you believe in paying taxes that is not going to your resources, that money that you're paying in income tax is doing nothing but paying your employer's tax, straight up, straight up. They get to hold on to all that, withhold that from your tax, hold on to that, 
that which you work for oh, and rightfully should be in your pocket is in their pocket, holding it back all year till the so-called tax time. And then a lot of people get rewarded with this big old fat uh, income tax refund check. Refund, listen, people, listen to that. Refund me, they have took more than they should have, okay? Now, in some cases, you get a... um. You know, you get some type of credit, like the earned income credit. That's money that the government is giving away for a certain set of circumstances. But all in all, most Americans do not have to file income tax. Um, I haven't filed in 13 years. I was going to say 27, but in 2006, I did file because I was working for the IRS. So I thought that I had to file. But I didn't. Actually, I didn't. Um, I just knew already to file exempt, which I'm going to teach, teach you something about that because that's something that I help my loved ones with as far as learning what that is. Okay. So, um, can, you, can you control that screen? I don't think you can. I can't control the screen while I'm on here. So, I'm going to go back to the full page. So this whole thing, if you read it, I put the link in the description so you can click right on it and read the whole thing. It is like a shortcut or synopsis to the actual reading of the law and um, income tax and the 16th Amendment. I also provided a kids law website. So those of you who are allergic to reading or your brain explodes with more than two sentences, you know, there's, but even the kids one got a few more, you know, than two sentences. But it is a little bit more user friendly in terms of the terminology and what is actually meant by the um, 16th Amendment. Because people get that confused and politicians use that to intimidate you to say, yes, there is an income tax. But I'm going to say it now and I'm going to keep explaining it throughout when I show you my income tax that it is not no such thing as an income tax law. Even when I challenge the people currently, for example, here's my personal situation. My personal situation was one that I worked. I worked for the census. You all knew that. I, I chronicled that journey and um, therefore you were aware. But me, I didn't know what I was supposed to report or what I needed to report or what I should have, could have, would have reported. Well, I didn't have to report the income uh, to uh, public aid because it did not affect my food stamps. That was part of the benefit of accepting a census job as a disabled person. You are allowed to... Uh, continue to receive your EBT benefits. So there was no impact there at all. I did also notify my um, housing authority the same thing. Like, do I report my income now? Because it's just a, it was just a temp assignment. I knew that it was just temporary day one. It came in the door. Knowing it was a temporary um, uh, position, it wasn't even, you know, even hinted that it was going to be, you know, long term. That we were hired specifically for the project to finish it up, tie up the loose ends, and close the cut the project down, basically. So it was a temporary temporary position. So I only earned income within those few weeks that I worked there at the census. Beyond that, my primary income is Social Security disability. Now the problem that occurred. Due to COVID, I do know some of it had to do with COVID. I did not receive my W-2 forms, or rather not my W-2 forms, my, um, what do you call it? Oh, God. I'm blanking out. Um, check stubs. I didn't receive my check stubs until um, after the assignment was over. So I was not aware because, see, the money was so good and the checks that I was actually getting, I didn't miss the money that was being taken out. But when I seen that it was taken out, I was like, oh, my goodness. 
Some went wrong because I always found exempt. I've been found exempt for 27 years. I'm not going to change it until you can show me the law that requires you to pay income tax. Then you can show me that. And I still challenge you because I wondered if the challenge was still there. Because I remember about, I'm going to say, eight or nine years ago, I posted the video, spoke on it. Um, and I figured by now, with nine or ten years, it went by, and maybe somebody had come along and won the money that USA was offering because actually somebody else picked it up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and share that screen too. Um, let me change the screen. Somebody had picked it up the same challenge, and and therefore. Uh, uh, they expanded it uh, instead of uh, being 150000 Now the challenge is a million dollars to anybody who, if, we sh if they show you, they're able to show you how you are not liable for income tax. The, the stakes is even higher. So this website, I'm trying to get to it. Okay, this website, livefreenow.org. And I don't know, can I see that? Can y'all see that? Oh, I got to stop sharing this screen. X that out. Okay, now I'm going to share the next screen is an organization that's still to this day, to this very day, extending the challenge to anybody. So I ain't just bullshitting y'all. I'm not just coming on here. You got a chance to get possibly a million of dollars. If you can find the income tax law, I said this nine years ago, I still, I've been telling family and friends and it just blows me away. I just scratch my head when I see people struggling over income tax. For what? For why? Why are you paying that particular tax? And don't get it twisted. People who with money love to throw it in a poor person's face. Well, you ain't paying. I'm we paying for you to live. You ain't paying taxes just because you might get food stamps or you get Section 8 or whatever the uh, benefit is. People who don't have that benefit like to put other people down and tell them they don't pay taxes. Oh, yes, you do. You pay taxes. What retail store or grocery store or gas station or uh, anything that you're purchasing where you get to pay just for the product and don't pay the tax? You're paying taxes, okay? The problem is none of us, well, I'm going to say 99% of us, are not supposed to be paying income tax. Income taxes specifically for those people who live outside the state and they earn income in America or the reverse. They live inside the state and they earn their income outside the U.S. Like some people have really live in America, have jobs or uh, companies, work for companies in Canada. Or Canada is a good one because a lot of people, I know a lot of you know, I know people who work for a company that's in Canada. So they couldn't understand why when they did their taxes, they thinking that their employer took out enough and, <laughs> and you know, every year they come up on. Well, that part of that is because they're on because our, our countries, outside countries are not subject to the same federal uh, taxes, you know. So therefore, our greedy government, you get it out of here one way or another, and and it shows up in the way that he ends up always on the government for the tax. He paying for the fact that person that I was helping paying for the fact that his company is outside the U.S. That's why he paying that price. But for the most part, most people don't have to file, and I keep telling him that same person his biggest problem is filing. Because when you file, you are saying you do owe taxes, you do owe income tax, and that when people say, "How do people get caught up and you know it, it caught up and get fined and all this and that?" Because when you turn the very act of submitting a ten forty form negates your Fifth Amendment right for uh, um, taxation without representation. 
That's what the Boston Tea Party is all about. If you know your history, they were adamant about creating taxes that help actually have be a portion. That's a very important term. A portion means that you know exactly where that money is going. So when you pay your housing tax, because people own their homeowners, they pay a housing, when you buy a house, you're going to pay taxes. Those taxes that you pay for real estate property, that is what goes towards your schools and your cops and your, your fire uh, 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 firemen and uh, hospitals and various things of that nature. That comes uh, uh, comes from your realty tax, state tax, okay? Uh, the roads, how do they get fixed? The gas tax, when you pump gas, that gas tax is a portion. You could go and look at the books and see the gas tax money. You could ask your your uh, uh, representative or legislator to open up their books because it's supposed to be open records. Um, the government, how the funds going. What cannot no legislator do, not one legislator do, they cannot do, is show you where income tax goes. I can tell you, because it ain't going to your schools, it ain't going to your roads, it ain't going to your, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going into some very wicked, rich people, uh, primarily the Federal Reserve, who just got mad more money, hand over fist, they're just going in their pocket and they don't have no accountability to our government to do with that money for our country. And that's what we, we allowed to happen because the 16th Amendment is really a, a legal ratification of the, the part where states are obligated to show when they collect taxes, where exactly does it go? You get taxes for gambling, you get a tax, man, you get a tax for weed. <laughs> now that they got weed legal here in Illinois, you get tax. It's a 20% tax on cannabis. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, side note. Um, so anyway, the whole point and purpose. I'm trying to reveal in this video. I'm not even going to tell you it's going to be all that quick, and I'm trying to do it quick, fast, and hurry. I can't. I want to break it down to you so you can leave from here empowered and say, well, huh, that makes sense. Wow. Man, let me really look into that. Then you really look into that, and you come back on here because I want people to comment. I don't want people to just thumbs up. I'm not going to beg for thumbs up. I'm going to beg for shares and comments. Comments after you have done your homework, done your research, and you come to the same conclusion that I already know and been knowing for 20 years and been telling people every year for 20 years since I learned what it is. Let's see, my, my son is 30. So more than 20 years, 30 years. I've been telling people because I stopped in 1996. I stopped filing then. I was scared to. I knew about it. Then it was just a, a text website um, to whereas it was an outlining, you know, the law and explaining how we did old income tax. So when, um, hey, Jacob, how you doing? You said you're not getting back nearly as much as you did last year. Well, I don't mean it to be disrespectful, but you shouldn't be um you shouldn't be waiting for the for your employer or the government to pay you back money you don't actually owe. You don't owe income tax. So it's the biggest fraud that's been perpetrated on American government. So I mean, so on American people. So you know. If they uh, if they willing to put this kind of fraud on and nobody comes out and tell the truth about it and let it continue for years and years and years since 1913, that's a wicked government, okay? And you can't believe them about nothing, okay? You need to use your own eyes and look and do your research. I put all the tools in the description so that you would know and understand what I'm saying is true. 
because I don't want you to just take my word for it because that's not critical thinking. You don't just take somebody's word for something. You go and look it up and research and eyeball it yourself firsthand. Firsthand knowledge is always the best knowledge. You said I had my taxes done. I had my W-2 for my job from when I did three elections from last year. Yeah, the elections, that's some good money working for them. You get paid a nice, pretty, uh, chunky piece of change for that one day of work. Um, well, okay, so I, can, I can't speak for you, Jacob. I can only speak for myself. I got all my money back. And then some, because I was only expecting $100 back from the federal government, honey. I came up on 358 So this is further proof, you know, because when I was trying to research this for myself, I didn't understand when I tried to use the Turbo Tax Program at Illinois, uh, which let me do a screenshot of that. Illinois kept showing me with, well, kept showing me with, uh, you know, it was showing me with less than one hundred and fifty-two dollars that they took out. They uh, uh, one hundred fifty-two dollars was taken out for state withholding, and that's what I was expecting back when I kept seeing the number be one forty-six. I'm saying, dang, you know, how come you don't know I get six of my dollars? Like, what's going on here? So that's what kept making me be dig, 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 and be manic about getting the um. I want all my money. I want all the ducats, <laughs> every last one. The census gave me the run around since October just to get them. I asked them to reimburse me. They wouldn't reimburse me <clears throat> or said they couldn't. It wasn't no way that they could. And I said that was malarkey. Um, the only reason why I gave in to go on ahead and file this year is because I actually have been a victim of uh, identity theft. And so the, what's on record, even when I just want to get my regular files, just, you know, downloading my um, proof of income as far as social security, that was all uh, applauded and made a, um, difficult for me to access that information because there was a, there's a fraud alert on my account because I actually was a victim of identity theft. And believe me, that ain't no fun. It ain't no fun. You got to keep doing a lot of unraveling. So that would be the only real big advantage of me filing. But otherwise, I would have continued on with my life as a non-filer. So the only time I had to uh, still bring proof is the YMCA. That's the only organization I know that asks you to bring your tax transcripts in order for you to get the scholarship for the YMCA. I said, why why come my income showing you my you know disability income, my social security income, why that ain't enough proof of verification verification of income? Well, they explain because there's some people that get income on top of that social security and they want to make sure your income is what your income is in order for you to get the, the uh scholarship. Anyway, back back to income tax in general. Um, the USA Today did the full pay ad years ago. I'm gonna say I want to say 1990 something. It occurred because I remember it. I lived through it. I remember it. So let me pull that up. I'm gonna do a screen share again. Okay, this time I'm going to show uh, the Freedom Law School, which um, it, the point and purpose of me doing this is just to let you know that not only it, uh, did they amp up the challenge that the USA page did, they said now, as you can see and read, I don't know if you, how clear this is going to be, but it says, welcome to Freedom Law School, our claim. There is no law requiring 99% of Americans to file and pay income tax. 
This is the biggest introduction to the truth regarding the lawful nature of the federal income tax. Watch this short video. So you could go ahead and watch the video on your time, but this whole website is dedicated to proving you don't owe taxes. So, and here they have up stepped up the game. They have a seven year, one million dollar guarantee. Lawfully, if you, if you can find the law where American citizens owe income tax, you stand a chance of getting this one million dollars. But um, this is what they say. They got a royal freedom package just in case you worried and you afraid with your, you know, your situation. You say, yeah, Naomi, it's easy for you to say you exempt and you don't owe taxes because you want disability. So you automatically exempt. What about me? You know, I work. I don't think I'm, I know I'm not automatically exempt. Yes, you are. Don't matter if you work. I'm still living proof of that because I reported 100% of my income and still got 100, not, 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 not one penny less, but 100% of the monies that was taken out my check. I got 100% is on its way already to be direct deposit to my bank. Okay. And this is after reporting the income with the Census Bureau along with my disability income, social security income. So um, you don't have to take my word for it. And even just for me to get the information, people are so brainwashed. So I called up an organization here locally because I was getting frustrated with census because once again, they send me on this wild goose chase. And they was like, no, you have to file. You have to file. I said, okay, that's neither here nor there. Since you're saying I have to file, I want to know where you can get the paper file. So, um, they was they was the one that told me about what I actually went to um, to get the paper file. She was like, "Okay, well, you live in Illinois, right? Well, you can just use the Illinois uh, state uh, Illinois state website to do your tax, and it's free, and you can file and you can report. That's where you can do the exempt." Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened when I went to the U.S. The, uh, state one is to the turbo tax. So some of y'all might not be in your best interest to go through turbo tax, even though you can get in quick, fast, and hurry in Walmart or H and R block to do it for you right quick. Is better off sometimes to go directly to the website, the government's website. On the government's website for the state of Illinois, I filed my tax, and the biggest difference between what TurboTax was providing me for Illinois, for Illinois, and what Illinois gave me for Illinois is that option to put in there your income. It's from Social Security. That's what's missing on the TurboTax one. So that's why it kept coming up six dollars short. Now, it's only six dollars, but hey. I'm balling on the budget. I could use them six dollars. I would love to take them six dollars and go get me some more mango fruit bars. <laughs> if you don't mind. Matter of fact, I want to get up one. My mouth is parched right now. I am going to break this down, hopefully, where everybody can understand it. Deborah Meekins. You said I should look at that and mention this auntie and uncle, her husband, about this. He does taxes and did my taxes. Okay, see, now, one thing you're going to find out real quick is that in the tax industry, <laughs> you ain't going to get no volunteers for this information. You know why? Because you eliminate nature. I mean, just think about it. Why would H&R Block tell you you don't owe income tax? Well, then, I mean, you ain't going to cut them a $30 check for doing your income tax you don't owe. Okay. So there's no actual incentive to tell the truth. The politicians, what's their incentive to tell the truth? I'm sure that each one of them know there's a whole bunch of money in the way of income tax that's going somewhere. And I'm willing to bet in directly in their pockets, okay? Because it's the biggest fraud ever perpetrated on American people. You know, and don't think 
America ain't capable of pulling a fraud over their people. I mean, how fraudulent it is to eradicate black history and, and reduce it down to one month when there's a whole bunch of black history that occurred over the course of 400 years that we all should be learning about should be American history, okay? Um, I don't know who you ever meet is in why you mentioning that, but anyway, I'm gonna try to stay on topic on this video. Where am I at time-wise? I can't even see the time. Where's the time? Oh, there it is. Okay, that ain't too bad. I'm going to try to get it done <laughs> less than an hour, but I really want to be thorough on this one. Anyway, like I mentioned um, previously, uh, there is still a reward. There is still a reward. They guarantee that it do, they can help keep you the IRS from levying your money for seven years. And if they can't succeed at doing that, they owe you a million dollars. So go check out that website if you're in that situation. Because I did not say all people don't owe taxes. I said all people of America don't owe income tax. Most people in America. Do not owe income tax. And here's this freedom education. Um, LiveFreeNow.org is still in operation over the years because it's been around um, for a while and they've been fighting against it for a long time. So he, so it's still there. There is no such thing as a income tax law for the American citizen. It's seven states that don't participate in the income tax at all. They ain't picking up and looking for no W-2s and 1040s for nothing because it ain't no income tax. All the taxes that come out is automatic. It's regardless of whether you want it to or not. FICA comes out your check every time, don't it? Do you get a choice in that? I don't care how little you mean, FICA still shows up snatching up some of your check. So is Medicare. And both of them, those are legal taxes apportioned by the government, and they go to actual things. Medicare covers Medicare, of course, for the obvious reason. And the um, FICA, that covers Social Security. That is, it, you can go and find the books and see where FICA is going. It's going to fund the Social Security fund, okay? It is not a requirement for Americans to pay income tax. And every time I say this, you know, I get the, I get the pushback. The most popular pushback was, no, no, I won't I pay my taxes. You don't pay your taxes. You pay your taxes. Trust me, you pay your taxes. Everywhere you go, you're paying your taxes. Everywhere you go. Like, you paying taxes on them sodas you love so much, you pay an extra tax on soda because soda is not a nutrient that you need. So it's a luxury. And you pay a higher tax on soda. That's a tax. It's a luxury. I, it definitely is here in Illinois. Maybe not in your state, but you paying a tax on that soda you buy. So I, I want poor people to stop feeling intimidated by somebody who got a job and, and, and then the person with the job thinking they more than and making you feel less than because you ain't paying taxes. No, you paying taxes. Your po ass is paying taxes. Excuse my language, but yeah, you paying taxes. So anyway, take a visit over there to livefreenow.org. I have a link in the description already. So go over there, check it out. Be, watch the videos, read, educate yourself. It's still there. I wondered if they were still gonna be there. A lot of websites that I first learned of the, this real reality, this real truth, a lot of them don't exist or they haven't been updated in years, but this one is up to date. It's still in operation and they done stepped it up. They done raised up the stakes to a million dollars. They guarantee you ain't going to get in trouble for no income tax. Didn't Trump prove you that to you? I wanted to put him in the thumbnail. Didn't Trump pull, prove that to you? 
much as he may, did he come up out of his pocket with an income tax return? Uh, no. No, he didn't. <laughs> so, I hope if y'all don't get nothing else out this video, y'all get that. All right. So, to me, back to me personally. I went back and forth to the census, from the census to the IRS, to the IRS, to the census. It's hard as hell to get stuff done now because of COVID. Can't get through. It ain't nothing but robots doing everything. But like I said, when you keep on pushing, you persevere. Kept on pushing. The person from here locally, uh, um, Jacob, you said we do pay sales tax on many items, all the items you buy. I mean, you're not going to be able to go in any store and say, look, I love this dress. This is me. But I don't love that tax. I'm just going to pay for the dress and walk out. You ain't going to get to walk out the store without paying the tax on that dress. So you pay taxes. This is what I just want poor people to get out the mentality that they don't pay taxes. You do pay taxes. You do pay taxes. And those taxes that you pay do go for the resources that you have in your community. All legal tax do. That the Constitution was based on having taxation, taxation without representation. They didn't want nobody going through that. The forefathers who built this country, quote unquote, they didn't want nobody going through that. That the, that's what them was throwing a T overboard. They wasn't gonna pay the tax to the king, to the king. They wanted to break free of England and uh, threw all that tea in the so so far ocean because they weren't gonna be liable for no doggone tax. The king was imposing on that tea. I guess that's how the story go. But anyway. This whole country was built on that, not having taxation without representation. And this government been able to run for hundreds of years, not just a few decades, hundreds of years without taxing the American people income. OK, the government was still able to run. The government is still not running using your income tax. That income tax is not going to anything related to resources in this country. It's going straight to a private banking entity called the Federal Reserve, which is a private banking entity, and it's making them rich. It's making them rich beyond anybody's imaginable wildest dreams. Just think about all the income tax that have been collected since 1913, going to the IRS. Uh, yeah, astronomical. Okay, so back to my personal uh, situation. I was uh, stressing because I wasn't feeling no, um, let me stop sharing this screen. I wasn't feeling no Illinois even getting $2, never mind six or seven. And so I kept obsessively digging and digging, trying to figure out how they got to get my, two, my tools and fuels. Um, I didn't understand it. And I was determined to get to it. And so they told me the only way I could get to it is that I had to, I had to file a paper, uh, a paper, um, tax return. I'm going to just cover up my pertinent information. Okay, yeah, they they told me I had to file a paper uh, return in order for me to not get the little six dollars that Illinois was trying to take from me, and that just go you to show you how wicked it is. Illinois, I was like wondering how come Illinois could get more of my money than the federal government? The government, the federal government over here giving me a refund that's higher than the money that was taken out my check. Because I think COVID came into play. And so some of y'all getting some type of tax credit just for that. And if you're on Social Security, if you haven't gotten your stimulus, uh, the $1,200 or the $600 check, I got both. 
it came to my bank account automatically, but if it didn't come to your bank account automatically, that would be a good reason to file your uh, income tax. That because that's they built into that a way for you to get your uh, stimulus money by filing the income tax. <laughs> income tax ain't necessary, and if you don't owe, you don't need to file. If you don't owe, you don't need to file. So anybody that don't owe, you don't need to file. What you need to do is go to your employer immediately, tomorrow, today. Okay, today is the new day now, officially. Go to your employer, ask them for your W-4s. And even though, because see, the tax people, they don't tell you. Because the tax person, she was quick to say, oh, you know, now they took exempt out of this because people can't do exempt. Yes, you can. What you do is physically write on that W-4 form of your employers, you physically write exempt. Now, they may still have a problem in their software where they can't accommodate the exempt part. But then if that happens, you could be doing just what I'm doing and that you still could get your money back. Even though you file exempt, you don't have to file to get your money back like I'm doing by filing the tax that year. But <laughs> I hope when you finish listening to this and if you're willing to share it to anybody you think is useful information here, I want you to stop paying income tax. I want you to go to your employer immediately and write right exempt because most Americans, 99.99% of Americans, do not owe income tax. Trump didn't even owe income tax. Did y'all see that? Everybody missed that one. It was all in his behind trying to get him to show his income tax. And he knew all the laws like his lawyers knew and his tax and his accountants knew. They all know it. You don't owe income tax. So it wasn't nothing there for him to show. And that's what happened in my form, which is what I want to show you, specifically what happened to me after I discovered that I was going to have to file the physical form. And I was pissed off at that because I'm knowing if I send a paper document, it's going to be even a longer delay in me getting my refund. Well, come to find out, that wasn't even true. Um, once I found out that, and I found that out here locally because uh, abroad, or I say out of state, they was misinforming me, telling me the wrong information, telling me, you know, that I had to file uh, paper-wise, and it take longer. Now, that was the, uh, that was TurboTax telling me that. Um, when I called them and I couldn't figure out, I said, well, why is it that my, you know, my federal is coming out right, but the state ain't coming out right, and it's the same income, woo, woo, woo. That's because Illinois greedy bus is going in and overreaching. So what they did, they lowered the um, minimum amount of income you could earn before you're liable for taxes. So that made me, that little three, three K that I earned from the census put me over a few coins. And so Illinois called themselves going to get $6 out of, up out of me anyway. But they can't do that because I'm exempt anyway due to Social Security. So that's what made me force be forced to do the, the form. Now, if you are in Illinois and you get stuck on the form for Illinois, like I did, I did want to clear up a couple of confusions so that um, your uh, income tax could go smoothly like mine did. Mine went smoothly until I kept doing the screenshots trying to show y'all what to do. I ran out of time. And so the, the doggone program kicked me out and I had to do it all over again. So that's why I'm way up in here to midnight still doing this thing. So I had to do my index all over again. But I wanted to at least show you um, a couple of things that I spotted in the program that went wrong. That was confusing. So I want to help y'all uh, not have the same mistake. Okay, bear with me. I'm trying to pull it up.
Okay, so early on. Now let me see. I hope I can share this. I might have to open up the picture. Let's see. Okay, all right, so here we go. All right, okay. Now I'm going to share this screen. And I hope they allow me to do applications. Yeah. So, right there. All right, so I hope you can see this. And uh, I blurred out my personal information. That ain't none here. But if you're doing the long form and you're doing it for Illinois, this is where I got stuck. Um, it, because it kept asking me for the federal adjusted gross income from your federal 1040, line 11. Well, dang on. If I did fill out a 1040 and I haven't filed in 13 years, where am I going to get a 1040 from? What they really ask for is the income that is in your W-2 form. And for me, I'm just going to say it. You know, I got, I, I, had, I put in there 3000 and some change. So that's what I earned from the working for the census. And on this right here in this space, that's what they're asking for. So if you like me in the same position, didn't file last year, you're a non-filer. You're not going to file next year. You're a non-filer. Unless, of course, the Lord bless me with my career going full fledged. And yeah, I'll be happy to file. I ain't got no problem with that. But if I don't owe, I just don't owe. And I don't want to pay when I don't owe. Okay, when I don't owe, I don't want to pay. All right, it's that simple. Um, that's the place and point in which you would be um, filling in your income and what is on actually on your W-2 form in what line is that? In your wages, tips, and other compensation. So you put that in there. You put that in that line. Okay, so the other thing that I had a problem with that got me stuck that I couldn't quite figure out is that once I put me, I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me see. Uh oh, I lost the window. Where is that? Where is that, y'all? I lost the window. I'm sorry. I apologize. Go back to stream yard. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna try to bring, I'm gonna try to bring uh, the other screen back up. I don't know what happened, I lost it. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna share the screen again. It's not letting me do it. Why? Oh boy. I don't know why it's not letting me get to um the screen that I want. Um, I think I'm gonna have to pull them up as photos. Cause it's not sharing the screen like I needed to. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to wrap this up. This really is the end coming to the end of it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it by using my photos. Oh, I think I know why, because I didn't name those um I didn't name those screenshots. Okay, let me go in here and name them. That's part of the reason why it's not showing up. Let me go in here and name these screenshots right quick. I hope this show up now. Um, if they don't, I'll go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, you can ask questions later, or I could do a one on one talking about the taxes. So I'm going to stop sharing now. I'm trying to pull this up through photos.
Let's see, there you go. I didn't want all these um, screenshots mixed up with all my other stuff. So I'm going to see what happens now. If it's going to allow me to show you the photo or the screenshot. Okay, so let me do the screen share. And I want to share the application window and photos. There we go. Okay, all right, that's working. So that's what I'll do. All right, so those of you who are wondering how to do it, because they're so slick and they're so busy trying to keep you blind wash and blindly paying this income tax without question, without asking no questions, and just take your word for it. Just mindlessly do it. You just do it because you always seen your parents do it, and they saw their parents do it, and they saw their parents do it. But I'm telling you, don't do it. This is what you do do. Go to your job, get your W 4 form. Fill it out, complete it again, okay? Complete it, and then write in this section, type or write exempt. Now, in my case, the census still took it out, and this lady, the lady who um, uh, uh, led me to the Illinois Free Tax Filing website, <clears throat> which I have all that information, the links and everything, in the description of this video, uh, she was the one that let me know um, that you 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 could do the whole form electronically. So TurboTax misinformed me, said I had to do a paper one. This lady today locally said, no, I didn't have to do a paper one, that I could do it electronically with Illinois. I was asking her, well, which form do I use? Because normally I use easy because I got an easy um tax uh situation so she said no you use the 1040 because that's what had the exemption have the uh you know allow you to put the income in from other sources than earned income you can't do that on the easy form so um that's why i'm giving y'all the heads up now going back to photos Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing and um I'm gonna look for the next photo. Okay, here we go with the next photo. Share that screen. Okay. All right. So, um, me, um, as you can see, when I completed my thing, this it said zero. I owe zero. After I got through with my whole thing, I owe zero. And you just go ahead and put in your telephone number and click submit. And guess what? Um, once you do that, then they uh, ask you for your bank information. And now my in Illinois income tax is being refunded to me. And instead of the 146 that uh, Illinois was trying to dip in, double dip, uh, get some taxes they're not even entitled to because even on their language on the, t the, the, 40, the 1040 forms for Illinois, is when you see the instruction, it asks you, do you owe federal income tax? But this year they changed it. Because they're going to make up their own law based on a law that is an illegal law. So that's a big problem. And that's a problem when you got states that are so greedy and so corrupt. Illinois is one of them corrupt and greedy states. 
and they try to double dip, even though it's only six dollars. You think that you know that might be a little thing that I was uh finagling and fighting turbo tax over, but the truth of the matter, the real truth of the matter is. Them six dollars add up and multiply that by it's I think it's three billion people in, in Chicago. I think it's three million, three billion, three million, three million times six dollars. Okay, that's a lot of money. So I don't want them to have not damn nickel more than they are owed. I didn't owe it, so I want it back. So when TurboTax, when I did my thing with TurboTax. Um, when I did my thing with TurboTax, I was trying to figure out how did they, how did they come up with such different numbers? So let me save this so you can see this one. How could they do that? Why was the numbers coming out different on the Illinois one and then the TurboTax one? Well, it's because of the um, deductions. The deductions that Illinois was trying to take helped themselves to my six dollars of my money. It's smash money. It's money. And I don't want Illinois to have none of it. Trying to get back to photos, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and and uh, under better circumstances, I could have had a, a wonderful uh, edited, pre-edited, so you could condense everything I just say down to ten minutes. I didn't do that. I would hope and like to think that, you know, it might be at least one person that hear me all the way out to the end and learn them something. But anyway, I want to share my screen one more time. So y'all can see. All right. So yeah, here we are looking at what my total a refund from the federal government. Now, of course, am I going to argue with I'm going to get $358 just from them? Because all they took out, let me get my W-2 form. All the federal government took out of my check was $100.07. And yep, that's it. One hundred dollars and seven cents. So for me to see, I'm getting a refund of three hundred and fifty-eight, and not just that one hundred dollars and seven cents that they actually took out. Woohoo! No, I'm not complaining about that. But then I looked at the forty-six for the Illinois credits. I'm like, we found credits, and then they got me owing fifty-two dollars in taxes. So I'm thinking, why is they taking my money? And this is Illinois. Why is they taking my money when I'm over here sitting on full on federal? Why wasn't coming out sitting on full on Illinois? Well, that's because Illinois was going in there dipping for a tax they don't deserve. So when I filled out the long form, I actually got my full entitled amount. And in fact, when my federal found out, which I hope you all uh uh Look in your situation, found out that uh, <clears throat> you can get deductions for um, for home office stuff. So, like, y'all see me, my little struggle to the job back and forth with that chair. Oh, I can deduct that chair. Okay, that thousand dollar chair has now become a deduction because that's a home office equipment that I had to take back and forth to do the job. You might have done the whole job from home. If you did the whole job, this is a new credit that people I've been given that usually was only available to 1099 
workers, people who worked as independent contractors, or you were self-employed, you were in business for yourself, you were an independent contractor. Those were the people who could make deductions for home office. But due to this year and COVID, now they allow that for you W-2 employees. So W-2 employees, and if you if you did some of your work from home due to COVID, you were forced to have to do your work from home. And now you done accumulated some bills, travel, or, well, not travel if you're working from home, but you might be accumulating some, you know, costs like printer and paper and toner and ink because you're printing out the work and documents. Well, now you can deduct that and get that off your income tax that you determined to file. It, and especially if you got taxes taken out and you determine to get a refund, you can now deduct your home office. So I was surprised at that. I think that explains some of the uh well no, because I, I didn't even wasn't even asked that question when I got the refund, the three fifty eight. So I'm not complete with my federal because I seen that three fifty eight. I was like, maybe uh, uh, it is to my advantage to do this. Thing the long way instead of the easy form because now I found out there are deductions. So I'm going to finish my federal, put in the numbers, the figures as far as because I know um, the chairs a thousand dollars to go headrest that I just spent two hundred fifty eight dollars. Why sure I want to add and give me a bigger amount coming back to me as a refund because I got every nickel I was owed. From Illinois, they did not get no minus forty six dollars, as you can see. <clears throat> I get my whole uh, income tax, so I just wanted to show you all those things. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you out the pictures that um, the screenshots that I took. And this is if you go to the website. Please make sure. Please make sure you don't give out information you don't have to. And this is one of my number one pet peeve on all websites. Uh, and so it ain't just terrible taxes. It's any, it's any website, any website USA is on my doggone nerve when they keep on trying to hold your situation up for a phone number. That is nothing but websites trying to do what Facebook did. Successfully got all of y'all to blindly 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 give you your personal private information. And um, so I'm going to screen share, share that. When you see companies engaging in that behavior, I'm going to call it, call it phone gram. Um, bypass it. I'm going to show you a way to bypass it. Phone number grab. I'm going to call it. I get sick of these companies doing that so much. Dang, I just did a typo. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here and get it back up in photos. And then do a screen share. I can't stand when companies do this. They do it all the time. And I want, this is another public service announcement. Don't say I didn't ever tell you. Naomi told you. If they love didn't tell you, don't say I didn't tell you. I'm telling you. You don't have to give up your telephone number. Um, and uh, the proof is in the pudding. Um, when uh, TurboTax, when they even ask you for their phone number, 
they, for your phone number, they give you an option. Like, come on, cooperate with me. Okay, there you go. All right, so yeah. Now I'm sharing the screen. And you and you see, they asked me for my phone number. I can't get out of here and just buy off with my $358 from the federal government without them still before I close out, before I walk away with the money. Would you please give us the phone number? No. They said the phone number is missing. I didn't give it to them even then when they beg for it again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? Because you don't have to. You, you don't have to give up a phone number to these websites. They're going to do any way. They're going to figure out any kind of tactic whatsoever to get that almighty phone number. What that phone number does is give you that website a way to track you 24 hours because you carry your phone everywhere. So remember that. If you don't want to give out your telephone number to these websites, don't do it. I don't. And me personally, I get on my Google number. You can get texts with that Google number. You can get phone calls, everything that they need to use to verify. But see me, I'm a techie. You can't bullshit the bullshitter. Well, no, I'm not a bullshitter. But you can't you can't pull the wood over my eyes because I know for a fact you don't need to uh, provide a website, a phone number in order to secure your account and make it safe. You only need one other email. And that's the way it should always be. You don't you don't never want to get to the point where these websites can mandatorily demand your telephone number. That's sensitive information they should just should not be able to have. So now that's it. When I was 17 minutes, that ain't too bad. <laughs> that ain't too bad. But now, you know, when I finished up my Illinois thing, I came out. Getting a refund. Now, see, they make you go through. Now, you you end up filling it out electronically online, and it's it, but you don't see them seven pages of the actual real paper file. So, this is the real paper file that you get to print out. You get to store it. You get a copy of a um a receipt, print it out, and uh and uh, I just wanted to show you. That I'm about to get my money, honey. Well, here's my actual tax re re uh, uh, form, and right there on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I'm going my refund, baby. I'm about to get paid, bam. Um, I didn't owe any, and and. Even though I told numerous people, even the tax people, she said, I said, well, she because she was trying to, she wanted to challenge me about exempt, the exempt part. I said, well, because I'm exempt. I've been exempt for 27 years. She said, well, no, the law changed now. The law changed now. No, the law ain't changed now. What changed is wicked ways of the IRS. What they did was change that form. They turned that form into a document for which they did not leave a space for exempt. But you can still physically go in there and write exempt into that form. So don't let them intimidate you either. Because I sure did it. I did it electronically and I did it paper-wise. You can do it. And so that's it. That's all. There is no more. I just want to share that. I'm happy and I'm free. I'm still not done though. I thought I was gonna be done, but heck, when I seen I could get a deduction for my um expenses uh from home due to COVID, uh yeah, I'm gonna go back in there with the federal and uh hopefully come up on some more deduction. Probably could do it for the Illinois, but uh I ain't pushing my luck. I just want to get what they took out. What that is rightfully mine, it should be mine. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. So I'm done, y'all.
that was the thing. So if you get ready to do your taxes, make sure you have your W-2 form. Make sure you have all your 1099s if that's um, uh, uh, required. As far as your proof of income, I, I needed the 1099, but I was still able to pull up that information Ooh, directly on their website. And um, you need your W-2s, your 1099, and the 1044, of course. You can do that all online. I did the whole thing online. When they told me I had to do a paper one, that was not the truth. The truth is that as long as you're willing to educate yourself, you can set yourself free and empower yourself to be free from income tax filing for the rest of your life. Well, uh, uh, or until the such time they actually do create a law that requires us to pay income tax for us of today. And as of this moment, right now, uh, there is no such law. And like I said, I already proved it, y'all. It's a, it's a million dollars at stake. Now, they done raised up the ante, went from 150000 to a million. I dare somebody to try to find the income tax law. I dare you. In fact, uh, I ain't going to wager no million dollars, but I'll wager you 10 bucks. <laughs> $10 if you can go and find the income tax law. And for those of you that's just too lazy to read, don't read a thing. I got one more screen share for you. That is that is uh that is this video called American Freedom to Fascism. Okay. And now I have to borrow money from them to pay interest finance. This is America. So the American people must lower their standard of living. America freedom to fashion. America freedom to fascism is a very thorough, 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 thorough explanation of the whys of why you don't owe income tax. And it, on this particular one, this link is already in the description. Um, but um, this guy was um, he was a manager, I believe. Well, he did a movie with Bette Midler in it. He was he was the producer, so he was the one that produced this movie, American Freedom to Fascism, and oh my goodness, is it showing up? It's not showing up like I wanted to. Um, anyway, Freedom to Fascism is a powerful movie. Um, I woke up, you know, whatever fog that I was in after I watched this movie, I woke the fuck up. Um, um I can't. I'm not this sure if I'm sharing it. President Woodrow Wilson signed the Federal Reserve Act into law. Later said, I am the most unhappy man. I have unwittingly moved my country. The great industrial nation is now controlled by the system of credit. We are no longer governed by free opinion, no longer governed by conviction. But a government by the opinion and the rest of a small group of dominant men. Yeah, so these dominant men sat down. I don't know if I um was able to show that well or not. Because this sure ain't letting me change these tabs. Okay, there you go. Good morning.
on this line. No, you coming in on the end. <laughs> um, but I am gonna I'm gonna um do the video uh, a second time uh for the freedom to fascism because I really do want to share that. I hope I do it right this time. Okay, now I'm going to do another share, share the screen, and um, a Chrome tab, Freedom to Fascism. All right. The Federal Reserve was created by Congress in 19... So the American people were forced to lower their standard of living and pay graduated income tax to the government. Just yeah, I can't see people. myself. President Woodrow Wilson, who signed the Federal Reserve Act into law, later said, I am almost unhappy with the Federal Reserve Act. I have unwittingly made a decision. A great industrial nation has now been trying to have a system of we are no longer governed by free No longer a government. Okay, so originally to the Congress. That's it. That's the way I want to end it. Um, That is the point that I want to make. Some fat cats, uh, lobbyists, uh, bankers all sat down, and one day they had a the coup de cry. That's what they call it. Coup de cry, coup de cry. Anyway, decided for all of us that we were going to pay income tax. They made this deal basically with the devil, created the Federal Reserve, which uh, I don't know if y'all are aware, but the Gisara, Gisara laws, in fact, I'm going to type that in there. Gisara, look that up. Gisara. Gisara, G-E-S-A-R-A, and N-E-S-N-E. -N -E. Gisara, Nisara. Uh, laws that have been already enacted to dismantle the IRS. It's supposed to be eliminating the um, student debt because that's ridiculous for a person to be a student. You got to go into debt in order to get an education for a trade. And so many people are going to school for education that's not panning out into an equal equivalent opportunity job opportunity so i'm gonna put that at the top you know as a um, banner right now the sorry and sorry law is intent and purpose is to disband the irs y'all don't believe me irs is a corrupt entity they gave they have been given unaccountable power well, it, they could come in and take your house, your cars, all this in the name of taxes. When people get the right knowledge and empower themselves that you do not owe income tax, the IOS will lose their power. The only power they have over you right now is your belief. I, I always wondered why, you know, when people would talk about God, especially to believe in him, I was like, well, hey, God to be, you know, if you are just you just and kind, you know, you got compassion, forgiveness, fellow for you know, forgive me for my damn sins. And one of them say, one of the rappers be saying, Forgive me for my damn sins. Um, why couldn't I be spared the sin of belief? I don't believe in you, but can I still get into heaven? I'm a good person. I'm a good person morally. I do, you know, right by others, treat everybody with respect, show love to everybody. Why do I have to believe it's a God to get into heaven? Because people's belief is powerful. People's beliefs supersede, supersede logic. 
people's belief make people do stuff blindly without even questioning it. Everybody believes they owe income tax. Why? Because they saw their mother doing it, their dad doing it, their grandma doing it, uncle doing it. So they do it blindly, faithfully every year without question. Believing that they do owe income tax. It's, it's just a belief. And I'm here to tell you, actual or factual, it's not true. No matter what they tried to hit me with, oh, oh, you owe taxes. I kept coming back, no, I don't. And I just showed before your eyes how I reported all my income, and I still got 100% of my coin back. <laughs> so why people at, uh, why people file income tax, I never know. The only point purpose of income tax to be filing is if you actually going to get some money you didn't already have. So a lot of people get that earned income credit. Yeah, I say go for it. That's a, that's a free for all the government giving away for you being a parent. You deserve it. Go for it. File your taxes. But if you ain't getting no money back, you come out on, don't even file that motherfucker. You won't be on. <laughs> you won't owe. And this is my challenge to you. If you're so scared and worried about on, this is what you need to do. Don't file. Go to your employer. Put exempt. Make sure they stop taking that money out of your check. And then go look back and look at your check stuff. That money that was taken out of your check, put it in a savings account. We can go automatically to a savings account in your name, collect interest, and then at the end of the year, if there's any questions, if there's any questions, you get any notifications from the IRS, which you ain't, because I've been doing it for 27 years. You're not going to. Um, you'll have the money. Put plus interest. Why should your employer have your money, hold on to it, and withdraw your money like you're a little kid, like you don't know how to pay taxes? People prove they know how to pay taxes every year when they pay their mortgage. And when they pay their house, no, they pay taxes, okay? You don't get to skip that part, okay? Or you'll lose that house if you skip the tax part, okay? But if you skip the income tax part, you ain't going to lose nothing. In fact, you're going to probably sleep real good knowing this going to your pocket. You're not getting your check gouged unnecessarily. And when you're getting a refund or owe the refund, that's letting you know already why should your employer have the right to take more money than you actually owe to the point where you end up getting a refund. It makes no sense. Think about it. Make it make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. So. That's it. That's all for me. I could go on and on and on. I hope y'all would check out the video. If you can't deal with all the reading, just watch the video. America Freedom to Fascists. I got the link in the description. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the link in the comments. I'm going to put the um the link into the comments, uh, Freedom to Fascism. Hold on a minute. Then I'm going to get up out of here. I'm tired, y'all. The Freedom to Fascism is a, it's a, um, it's an easy watch. It's, it, you know, it's interesting. Um, it, it, it's, it's showing, um, it's showing, Oh, I can't stand when Ben does that. And it was entrusted with the power granted originally to the Congress by the U.S. Constitution to coin money and regulate the value thereof. Okay, so yeah, now I'm going to put that freedom to fascism in the comments. That's in so in, in case you happen to uh, not believe what I'm saying. And um, I could end the chat, but uh, slide if you want to jump in, I'll give you an invite. 
I, I know people uh, tell me um, my uh, who gonna be watching these long lives. Well, I will hope that you do watch this one. Um, I'm gonna invite you to the chat. Um, I already let people know what the deal is with me over here on this channel. I'm up late, y'all, so I pay a price. I'm going to be self-medicating so I can get to sleep without having a bunch of muscle spasms because I do suffer from a debilitating condition called fibromyalgia. And as I go grow older, I have more issues with spasms. I'm up late. This don't give me some spasms. So I'm going to help my muscles relax a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little tiny night. So I just put the invite. If you're still there, if you're still with me, slide. You can hop on, say what you gotta say. Um, this I guess this would be the part you can exit on. I don't expect people to watch this all the way to the end, but if you happen to have made it all the way to the end now, oh, I miss my little baby. I don't make a I miss her. She gone. She gone back to her mama. Can't keep them away from mama. They be missing their mama. She love me and she call her nana. Call me by name. Oh, yeah. So slide if you go, if you're coming up, come on, you can join me. If not, y'all, I'm finna get busy. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Yes. <laughs> if you look, if you look up Jazara Nasara laws, you are gonna see they trying to dismantle and get rid of the IRS because it's a, it was it was a illegally created. That money is not going to the infrastructure of America to build America and make it great, Dumb up, make it great again. For the black person, it ain't great yet. It hasn't been great. Um, but America is not great for this reason. Their ability to pull the wool over their own people's eyes. And won't nobody be honest about it. Won't nobody tell you the truth about it. It's appalling. And it just lets me know how wicked how really, really wicked this country is. Yeah. Okay, so slide, I guess you popped in and popped out. It's all good. This is a boring topic of taxes, but if you got to do taxes, I strongly advise you to share this video, okay? Share it to somebody who doing their taxes right now, and maybe you can relieve them of some stress. They sure will be happy to hear they don't owe no taxes, okay? Not income tax. We owe taxes, but not income tax. Income tax is a tax you don't owe. It's seven states. I meant to put that in there. It's seven states that don't participate in the income tax. Why do you think they get that special privilege, don't have to participate? Why do you think they come, their state is able to still continue to run and they don't collect income tax? How is that possible? Texas is one. I think Alaska is another. I can't, think, can't remember all seven states. I think Arizona is one. But I know for sure Texas is one. And why you think the king of Sodom coming to Texas to buy land 
and make his solar kingdom, his solar world in Texas. Jimmy Zhang, I think that's his name, Zhang, X-I-A-N-G, Jimmy Zhang is the king of solar in China. He coming to get 200 some acres in Texas and create the solar capital of America. That's his dream. That's his vision. That's really happening. He already bought the land. Okay. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. Stop sending. Stop giving the, the uh, government all the power that they have. Take some of it back. Some of it back. Take some of that power back by not filing income tax. Okay. Don't say I didn't told you. This is 2021. When I'm long gone, y'all gonna say, "Oh, Nayla, she sure did say that." She sure did tell us y'all ain't gonna be able to blame me for that. the the uh, anarchy and total mayhem that's going to occur once people wake up. <laughs> anyway, peace and love. So I'll see you again in the next one. In the next video. In the next video show. That's it, that's all.